It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's done. So the Xbox Series X and Series S launched today, or I should say the pre-orders launched, and as expected, it was a gigantic failure. Uh, let's get into it. So for those of you guys that know, um, the last month has been pretty crazy for pre-orders, uh, at least in the consumer electronics industry. So Xbox had plenty of history and plenty of scenarios to review um, before they themselves did the launch and sufficient to say they did poorly, um, maybe even worse than the other companies that went before them. A quick breakdown of my day, I woke up at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, hopped online, um, logged into a bunch of tabs, GameStop, Amazon, Best Buy, um, Microsoft Store, although that website crashed right away, Logged into all these tabs, opened up another tab, uh, was FantaVision. He was streaming uh, his attempts to get it. It was actually really helpful, um, especially a lot of the people in his comment section were, were kind of uh, up-to-date Twitter feeding, basically letting us know what was going on. Shout out to FantaVision for that stream. Uh, it had like 80,000 views, and he got like 1,000 subscribers on it. Go check out his channel if you guys uh, are not already subscribed. A huge day for him, a huge YouTube day, so congratulations on Fanta. And he picked up two Xbox Series X's apparently, so he did really, really well. Um, I did not do quite as well. 8 a.m. I was on, refreshing tabs. Um, Best Buy was the biggest failure of the day. Uh, it did not even show the pre-order available. Um, those of you that were there know that every time you clicked refresh, it would just continue to say uh, coming soon in the tab where you should be able to pre-order. So I was up there for a full hour uh, news is that later on Best Buy did release it, but it was like over an hour late. For those of us with full-time jobs that are adults and stuff, uh, when a launch event happens, it need, we need to be ready that minute. We can't be, I can't be sitting around for nine hours uh, refreshing. So I guess that's my fault. I, I'll call it Best Buy's fault, but I guess it's my fault. GameStop um, had the most cheeky uh, of all, which was a line and there was a big uh, pre-made pre spill. I'll show it to you guys here, what I got and what millions of other people got. And basically they were asking you guys to not refresh the page. Um, basically that crashes the site and we've seen it done a bunch of times. We saw, we saw it done today on the Microsoft store. Too many people, too much traffic and too much refreshing. So GameStop had this line. Uh, it sounds good in theory, but it didn't work at all. Um, in fact, in the background, it was refreshing you automatically. So I don't know how that worked. I don't know if they just drew straws to see who ended up getting it or if they really authentically did go uh, based off the people in the front of the line. But the fact that they didn't want you to refresh, even though it was refreshing in the background, um, kind of kind of, kind of, of scummy. And uh, good luck to those guys that ended up winning that. Well done to you. The rest of us just kind of sat in a queue. I waited for about two hours in that queue and then I finally closed out. Um, Walmart, Walmart was probably the biggest troll of the day. Um, well, maybe tied with Target. Walmart let you add the item to cart go to checkout, put your address in, put your payment methods in, do everything, and then not sell you the console. So I got trolled multiple times today, multiple times by Walmart, uh, making it all the way in to the shopping cart, to the checkout payment method in, and then saying, oh, nope, nothing's in your cart. Uh, another big troll of the day was Target. Target uh, just didn't do anything. It showed the pre-order switch and every time you clicked it, nothing happened. The, the link was bugged out. The site was effectively crashed or at least the item um, page was crashed. The site might've still been up. But every time you hit the pre-order, nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened. Again, I tried this probably two hours straight, was never able to get anything in my car, either the Series X or the Series S. So that was a big disappointment. The place where I hear people had some success today was the Microsoft Store, but for me, the site was crashed. Every single time I went to it, it was crashed. You couldn't access anything. There was a generic uh, page that you that you pulled up every time you opened the site. Uh, when it opened, a lot of times it just loaded indefinitely, but when it opened, there was the generic page. Site was crashed. Um, I heard reports that people were getting Xbox Series X hours later on the Microsoft Store. So again, if you were one of those people, well done. Um, but for me, the site was just crashed. And Amazon, well, 
Amazon had the cutest way to troll you. It just showed pictures of dogs over and over and over and over again, pictures of dogs. Um, what I read about later on in the day is that Amazon and Best Buy did not release um, their pre-order links on time. They were hours later than uh, the rest of the people. Again, for full-grown adults with full-time jobs, uh, it's not gonna cut it. It's not. We're not gonna be able to swipe our credit card for 500 bucks. I'll call it your loss if you're not gonna have the stuff up. Although, to be fair, they sold out right away, so it's not like they needed my money. They already sold out immediately. Uh, which brings me to my last point. I wish Microsoft had released more of these consoles and I wish they had been a little bit more prepared um, for the massive demand, especially announcing Bethesda acquisition uh, a couple days ago. Obviously that blew up demand um, to fever pitch. And all of these sites have kind of gotten an F in my opinion the last month. Uh, for those that haven't been keeping track, obviously we had the PS5 pre-orders a few months ago. Uh, gigantic, gigantic failure. Um, they, they went with kind of the cheeky attempt of doing kind of a Zerg Rush surprise launch. They uh, had the big event and then they said pre-orders are going live right now. Good luck. So everyone got on there. Um, I'm not a PlayStation guy, so I didn't even try, but I heard it was a, a massive uh, disaster. A lot of people didn't end up with one. A lot of scalpers did end up with one. A lot of people weren't ready or were at work or were at the office or whatever, um, unable to be on a computer to pre-order and having no advanced knowledge uh, to be able to do that. Again, a lot of scalpers probably don't have nine to five jobs if they're scalping for a couple hundred bucks here or there. So that brings me up to a week ago, which is when this NVIDIA uh, three series graphics card, forgive me if I'm wrong, I think it was the 3070, it might've been the 3080. It released, uh, again, massive failure. All these huge bot sites um, buying up, people, people paid for scripts essentially that bought up multiple of these graphics cards, um, dozens of them. They got them and then they resold them on eBay. Uh, the same exact thing is gonna be happening right now with the Series X. Hopping onto eBay, you guys can see these are sold listings. These are people that already paid with PayPal for these items. And if you guys do this, which 100% you should not do, make sure you're actually buying the system and not just the pre-order slot. I've seen that done before where people just sell you the pre-order uh, account or information and you still have to pay 500 bucks for the system. So if you are well off financially and you do decide to go the eBay route, again, I'm pleading with you not to do that because it screws over everyone, it builds the economy, and it gives these scalpers um, all the motivation to go buy 12 of these consoles so the rest of us consumers cannot get it. So that is the experience we've had. It's been a bad month uh, for pre-orders. There has been one shining light. I know a lot of people have bitched about this, but I love it, um, and that's this new Super Mario 3D uh, anniversary, or All-Stars, I guess we'll call it. It came out, Nintendo announced the pre-orders, and then the day they announced the pre-orders essentially said, this is gonna be a limited run. Um, even, even the digital only is gonna be discontinued uh, at a set time in the future. I believe it's March, so you have plenty of time. But I highly recommend you guys head into retail if you're a big Nintendo Switch collector like myself, head into retail stores and pick up that Super Mario. And for the rest of us waiting on PS5 and Xbox Series X, you guys, we're gonna get one in our hands probably before the console even launches. I bet they're gonna do another couple waves of pre-orders. And if not, it's gonna be within a couple months of the console coming out, we're gonna see a lot of these on store shelves. Um, there's not a big enough library right now in, on either one for me to be racing out. Uh, again, those of you with proper gaming PCs, I have kind of a uh, entry level one, but if you have a nice gaming PC, there shouldn't be any rush for you guys to get the next gen anyway. Um, it's already, to some extent, been made obsolete by uh, this three series graphics card from what I've read. So don't be in a big rush, guys. And good luck to all of you guys that get it. Leave a comment right now. I wanna hear everyone's story. PS5, Xbox One, I wanna hear you guys' story uh, concerning what, what your pre-order experience went like. Hell, 3 Series NVIDIA, I know I don't do a lot of PC stuff on this channel. Let me know in the comments. I wanna hear if you guys got it, if you guys failed, what your opinions are, um, where you got it, if you ended up getting one. And as always, guys, drop a thumbs up on this video. I'm trying to get back into the YouTube algorithm. Um, it's been a tough, obviously, it's been a tough six months on a game hunting channel with the, with the pandemic going on. Trying to get back into videos, trying to get back into the algorithm. You guys dropping a thumbs up right now is a huge help. It's a massive help. I'm not even asking you to subscribe or hit the bell, none of that. Just hit a thumbs up on this video. It's a big help to me. Appreciate it, guys. I'm gonna be back really soon with some more videos. I'm gonna to try to get back into Goodwill, multiple Goodwills, and uh, garage sale season is kicking off here in Tucson. 
So if people are having garage sales, it's it's up in the air. But if they are, I'm going to be there um, with my camera and I'm going to be getting some footage and getting some videos up. Hopefully getting some more games to add to the shelf. You guys are awesome. Take care. Have a good one, guys, and good luck in the uh, holiday season getting these items if you guys are looking for them still. Take care, everyone.